let's get started demo first so this is a uranium ui which we can implement in our dot uh, myu application and it is a very look feel nice better actually providing the ui so we don't need to design and any things we have to do so let's show you first like see uh, this is a window application uh, web, uh, window application over here desktop application here they are uh, i just using the default template so they are providing a one grid and also providing that this implementation like op over this using c is a nice uh, look feel over here like delete button and also this is a button fill out button so once i click it's it should be delete and also once i click fill out you will see there's another dialog box over here once i click ok you will get the data even if you click add you can just add see this also form provided by the urinium ui and if you add something so it should be add once i click collapse see is a collapse and uncollapse options over here i just added this new data and also i can add it same things we can do in mobile as well see i can just delete using the urn ai ui and also once i click that uh, no, message button you will get that message and you can just add it is that like this will be uh this will be implemented in our dotnet myu application and this is the existing template we are using so first this session i will use that existing template how we can use the existing one uh, like the default template how we can use that then in the upcoming session we'll use like how our existing application in dotnet myu how we can use and what are the prerequisition over there so let me close everything and before proceeding uh, starting our session i'm especially recommend if you first time come in my channel so go to my channel and there's a many many section actually i'll just cover dot net myu and dot net myu blazor hybrid ad many things i actually covered along with that green architecture and blazor and mbc everything okay so as a full stack developer i just shared everything over here so let's start so first what you need to do first of all just open a visual studio uh, I'll just open a visual studio over here and now if you go to uh, create a new project let me find that uranium and see it will give the two templates so if you first time so definitely you will not get this two templates so how we can add this template so let I'll show you first just open a, a, a your command prompt any command prompt you can just open over here and go to your command prompt and here what you have to do over here uh, you can just fire this command see this is dot net new install uranium dot template so let me zoom in so once you fire this command it will install that template so i have already installed so that's why it's saying it's already installed if it is your first time so definitely you can see and then once you install you are able to see see uh, all the template it is available over here in your uh, uh, in your desktop and then go to your visual studio once you open the visual studio you will search this uranium and definitely you will get this two template okay the two template is providing one is a uh, now blank template and another one is a default template so i will use a blank template nothing it is just simply a hello world printing but yeah that uh, that template you know the default template that will show you like uh, that whatever operations over here right so that is a very important like a, actually how we can use it so that give that some more idea right so i will use that you know app template so which will give that you know functionality as well that grid along with the grid and here i'll just choose i just create a uranium neum demo next and use that you know there is a uh, three or four options over here the material icon you if you want to material icon if you want to you know fill into your icon if you want to font or some so you can choose this whatever you want so i'll just choose as of now is a material icon so whatever material icon i want i can use it and also see 
there's option like which one you want to use like see the uh, implementation options right so uh, if you want to dialog box so there's the two types of dialog box you can implement so mock-up dialog box or community dialog box so i will use that mock-up one create so it is trying to getting the ready and if you go to the solution it is same dot uh, net my application there's a no major changes over here but only just what they are trying to do over here if you go to that my program.cs file i'll show you what they actually added so they added this uranium myo extension over here and also you use uranium material okay and also added some uh, uh, fonts so that is not a it is a, a, a using existing also and this service actually so these three things they have added in your my application don't worry i'll create a existing application and how we can implement this uh, uranium ui in the existing version also i'll just cover over there so these are three or four things they actually added over here and what they also provided they're giving that you know ma main page uh view model and here some you know creating some command and also some fake data over here that added and also they create a to do items class and this class actually binding some data that's it so this is done and uh, let me run uh, let me see for all the dependencies gone oh yeah all the dependencies over there let me run and see in actions okay now it's running and it's open in our desktop window application and uh, here uh, see there is a uh, options and if you click the delete it will delete also if you want to add and it should be add like suppose i want to add something else so it should be add and also is a collapse options so this will be actually default template so that we can i we can get some idea like how we can uh, use that you know ui and all of and buttons and this all of things so let me uh, run this is a uh, for that android one so use that android emulator and use this and uh, run it for the android and see in actions now it's running but see that uh, whatever list they're providing that is not a uh, responsive right so that's why it's going to that list in a window is fine but yeah one application it's going to here and there so there's a one issue in this here so what i can do i can just do some correction over here so that uh, we can there is a many way actually we can do that uh feel better so if you go to that xml phase so if you go to that here so what you need to do uh for that set the platform specific it is a very uh simple approach over here that i will show over here uh simply what i need to do i just copy same grid uh twice over here and that first grid uh, here the first grid right so here the i specify is visible for which platform i want so platform on platform or bin form it should be true should be true but on the android one it should be false right same we can do for uh, that another grid which we just copy right so let me copy over here i can just pass it to true over here because android i want to true and it should be false and whatever property you want like suppose i want uh, only one over here for android so i can keep it one and like this is a very simple straightforward approach so let me run and see uh, again miss something yeah that is missing something here right so see i miss that code over here uh, that is visible actually that uh, whatever true false property over here i can pass it binded over here but yeah that i'm missing over here similar i so yeah that is fine so let me run mm. now this time see uh, very only uh, one column is shown because it is android uh, whatever we condition so may based on this you can just delete and also you can just add whatever you want so let me add something add and collapse see this data was there right and uh, one more thing i'll show you like one message like pop-up message i'll show you right so how we can use the dialog box over here so let me create a one uh, button over here for example whatever button i have 
I can create one more button over here so this is one button right so let me copy this button and paste it over here and uh, yeah I remove that command and also change some name it is delete right it is not delete it is just uh, dialog box dialog box and i'll just create a click event let me create a click event and create a new event handler so let me create a this event handler and go to your uh, main.cml file and here how we can easily uh, get that dialog box right so that we can use uh, uh, use this like await this dot i can use display uh, display text prompt right so this is display text prompt here you can just pass whatever text like for example it is a new item and uh, then whatever uh, whatever that other property it is just you know passing the title and message so this is a message for example hello hello world and close that and once you're done definitely you are able to see if it changes yeah the button is over there once i click see now is there and also very nicely we can very in a quickly we can implement like this this nice uh, dialog box right using this existing uh existing uh, uh, service which is provided you run ui so there's a many many things we can do and same things i'll show you uh, for window machine so let me run because same thing will work for that all the platform so i have only windows so that's why i can show you on the window but yeah you if you have uh, other platform as well so you can use it and you can check okay it's running over here and once i click here say dialog box over here appearing and okay that is fine there's a many many things over here we'll implement in upcoming session so that's how we can implement uh actually we can use in our existing also so upcoming session will use that existing one how we can implement this this you know uranium ui in our uh, existing one so till now and also one more thing actually before close this session i'll show you that uh, official website of uranium so this is that official website of uranium here you will able to see you know many many things they actually provide so this also source code over here whatever you know dialog box using we can use the validations font and supports themes you know everything we can just check it over here and one more thing actually uranium provide like see there is only just uranium uranium it's not a uranium ui it is have an auto filter as well so that also will uh, cover in upcoming session like how we can uh, easily you know using that uh, this service or this service uh, how we can easily uh, implement that in you know, a filter designation shorting and many many things actually they provide so that also will cover in upcoming session so till now thank you have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share